In this lesson, I'm just going to quickly show you around Drag and Cut where the main tools and features are located. So here we have our menus, which access most of the program's tools and features. You simply click on these and you get access to different things you can do, and some of them fly out like so. In the first row of tools, these are fairly static tools like Print, Cut, Save, Open, etc. We've also got these Hide and Reveal tools so that we can put tools away we don't use very often, like so. Here we've got a drop down and we can access things like the gateway and the vinyl spooler, etc. In the second row of tools, these are dynamic. These change depending on what you do. So for example, if I go into text mode like so, and start typing text, you'll notice that in the second row of tools up here, uh, all the text tools when in text mode appear. So those tools are based on exactly what you're doing, as you can see. And these have got flyouts that you can access like so. You can click on that button there to bring out the Design Center. I'll come back to that in a moment. So that's how we access those tools. And for example, if I create a curve, you can see up the top in the second row there, there's a set of curve tools. And when I go back into Object Mode, you can see I can access things like the size, etc. When I go into Node Edit Mode, I get these Hide Reveal tools again, and I have a range of additional tools I can work with, like Reduce Nodes, etc. So that's how the second row of tools work. Other things the program have got are things like vertical text. So you can just type in vertical text like so. And there's also some more advanced text tools, which I'll quickly show you one of those here, which is, say, for example, arc text. And I can type text around a circle like so. And I get a range of additional tools I can work with there. So that's how those text tools work. Other things the program have got are power shapes and basic shapes. Now a power shape, when you draw it out, you'll see these special nodes here. There's an inner border, for example, and a corner radius on a square. And as I click and drag these nodes, I can change the shape of the power shape. And each individual power shape has its own different nodes, like so. And I can edit and adjust the look of a particular item, like using those power nodes. The program also has plenty of uh, clip art. There's thousands of clip art uh, in the program, and you can just scroll through these at your leisure and have a look at them. You simply just select on the one you want and drag and drop it into the program like so. And that's your clip art. There's also corporate logos, thousands of these. You simply click on the, uh, the letter that your logo starts with, for example, the Chicago Cubs here, and just click and drop it like so. There's also some road and related signs, uh, for example, these metric signs here for uh, highways. And you just select the one you want and again drag, drop and click, and there's that sign there. So that's how those work. Okay, I'll just delete all this stuff out. Okay, I'll just quickly show you where some of the effects are. There's plenty of effects. I'll just show you a couple of them here. I won't go into great detail, just so you know where they are. These are vector effects. In other words, these effects you can cut out. Uh, you can rotate objects as well. Might as well show you that here. And you can see how they snap, like so. Now, I'm just going to apply, say, an outline effect to this particular job here. And you can see it applies an outline, and again, in the second row of tools, they all adjust and uh, show us some more tools that, for that particular purpose. And we can change colours and things like that. So that's how those effects work. And you can do other things as well. Now, there's also the welding and shaping tools here. I won't go into great detail with these, but that's where you would, uh, you would shape your objects. Um, now, back into the uh, uh, Design Centre here, you can see the Object Manager. So if I open up this job, it's got plenty of uh, different artwork in it. You can see how all these things are listed in the Object Manager. great thing about this is that when I select on an object like uh, this arc text here, for example, I can come down to the Property Inspector, and I've got literally thousands of properties relating to every individual thing inside the designing area. And you can see here there's neat little icons which show you what you're doing. Uh, you can change, say, the font, for example. It's what Times New Roman at the moment. I could make it something else. Uh, what we might make a Clarendon, for example, and you can see how from the property inspector you can access all your uh, properties for each individual um, uh, object. And of course, this uh, design center is just packed with a line and distribute and size and scale and fills and on and on it goes. There are loads of tools in the uh, design center. Another very good uh, feature is the object selector here. So you can actually see each individual object that's in your designing area as a, s a separate thing. 
and you can select it like so and I can say example change the color and when I move it along you can see it updates like so. So the object selector is a great way of choosing uh, your objects. You can also add additional pages. There's no limit on the number of pages you can have in Dragon Cut. So it's very, very handy. Um, and you get lots of different layout tools up here and different view tools that you can, uh, you can access there. So just pop this away for a moment, like so. OK. And you can also navigate through your pages down there. So you can go uh, and you can navigate between documents on by clicking on these tabs, etc. You also have wireframe uh, views like so. So I can see wireframe in black and white, wireframe in color, and go back to my full color outlay like so. Up here you've also got your page sizes and your sign blank sizes. There's hundreds of different uh, sizes here and you can select and choose any one you like. I'll change this to say 2400 square like so. Uh, and you've got no limit on the number of pages. So that's just where the general tools and features are. There are scores and scores of them and that's just a quick outline. And that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.